Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Alumide McCauley. On the program today, Governor Mohamed Jabrilla preaches peace in Adamawa State, visits Kadamun Village. Chief of Air Staff launches agriculture scheme for dependents of air personnel, insists on improving their welfare. And lecturers at a College of Education seek divine intervention as institution shuts down. First, we begin with a story from outside the country that can impact what's happening here, and it involves our president, Mohamed Buhari, who says Nigeria would welcome intermediaries from the United Nations as a show of commitment to swapping the abducted schoolgirls with Boko Haram fighters in custody. President Buhari told the United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon during a bilateral meeting on the sidelines of the 71st UN General Assembly in New York. Part of the president's words read, quote, The challenges in getting credible and bona fide leadership of Boko Haram to discuss with the split in the insurgent groups is not helping matters. Government had reached out, ready to negotiate, but it became difficult to identify credible leaders. We will welcome intermediaries such as the UN outfits to step in. End of quote. Mr. Ban Ki-moon, who congratulated President Buhari on the anti-corruption war, and the achievements against Boko Haram urged that human rights be upheld at all times to prevent a repeat of the scenario witnessed in Syria. Almost two months after herdsmen launched an attack on Kadomun village in Demba, local government area of Adamo Estate, residents are still picking up the pieces of their lives. The governor of the northeast Nigerian state, Senator Mohamed Jabrilla, is visiting the village for a personal assessment and directed that the panel of inquiry investigating the invasion comes out with its findings soon. Kodumu village, which shares a border with Yola, the Adamawa state capital, is no longer the bustling community it used to be. Houses which are now burned out shells lie abandoned. The occupants forced to flee. And that's not all. Residents lost. In fact, most of us lost our beloved ones, most of us lost our parents, most of us lost our uncles and brothers. Governor Mohamed Jubrila had earlier set up a panel of inquiry to look into the incidents which caused the death of scores of people and rendered several more homeless. <laughs> here with several aides to see the aftermath of the attack for himself. He says the situation whereby a group of people in the state attack and kill another is unacceptable. He appeals for calm. We cannot uh, fall our arms and see uh, people are killing each other for me. We are all Nigerian. And this state belongs to all of us. The people of Kodumu are hopeful that this visit will accelerate their recovery from the devastation of the herdsmen's ambush. Immediate assistance we need from the governor is to help us with uh, what we will eat and even where we will stay and protect ourselves. And those people that are pursuing us, the way that he will tackle all these problems in order that we here in Kadumi will stay in peace. The panel of inquiry is expected to round off its assignment in a week. Our state government has pledged to implement its recommendations. <laughs> Matters of corruption, officials of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission have sealed houses belonging to the former governor of Katsina State, Ibrahim Shema. The three houses which are located in different parts of the state now have EFCC under investigation written across their walls. One of the buildings is located in Makere Estate along Daura Road, the second inside Barahim Estate and the last in GRA Katsina. 
The EFCC had declared Mr. Shema wanted for alleged 76 billion naira fraud and money laundering. Efforts to speak to him or his aides proved abortive. The Nigerian Air Force, in collaboration with the Benue State Government, have inaugurated the Barrack Youth Agricultural Empowerment Program to help officers cope with home front demands from their defendants. Now, the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sidiq Abubakar, while inaugurating the youth program at the NAF base, Makredi says officers engage in counter-terrorism operations across the country will now focus on the task at hand, knowing that their families are comfortable. According to him, any young person living with, within NAF barracks qualifies for the program as long as they belong to agricultural cooperatives, which will enable them get funds from partner banks. The Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, arrives at the officer's mess on the Nigerian Air Force Base in Makadi in company of top military officers. He is treated to a short drama staged by youth from the barracks. The Air Chief asks the beneficiaries to support officers in the line of duty by engaging in productive activities like agriculture. There are a number of government agencies that are out there to assist them and the command has actually uh, made contacts with uh, a number of these agencies and banks like the Agricultural Bank and other banks that uh, you know give loans and I think they have perfected that arrangement so I believe very soon they will have access to the resources required but like I said the most important thing is to put in their hearts the desire for agriculture, the belief in the fact that you can actually rely on agriculture. You don't have to go out looking for a white-collar job. And to show its support for the agricultural revolution growth in Benue State, the state government says a total of 3,750 hectares of land is being prepared for the youth to kick off the scheme in the state. I am encouraging them to take advantage of it and uh, form themselves in cooperatives and uh, participate in their ongoing uh, CBN uh, anchor borrower program that is currently going on in Benue State. And apart from that, the Benue State has already made available 3,750 hectares of land that will be made available to use to participate in agriculture. Besides the inauguration of the Barak Youth Agricultural Empowerment Program, the Air Chief also commissioned the new Air War College located within the base. These projects were initiated in all NAP bases to ensure the provision of a conducive atmosphere for the personnel at their various workplaces and homes in line with the change agenda of the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari. Other projects commissioned include the base gymnasium, fully kitted for recreational activities, and hostel accommodation for fighter jet pilots at the Air War College, Makudi. Now, four persons alleged to be responsible for the kidnap and eventual murder of Reverend Father John Adeyi of the Catholic Church of Otupo, Benue State, on the 24th of April, uh, 2015, have been paraded by the police in the nation's capital, Abuja. Addressing a news conference, the Force Public Relations Officer, Deputy Com uh, Commissioner of Police, says the suspects will soon be arraigned in court. He says the kidnapped gang, led by 30-year-old Sulaiman Goma, collected the sum of 1.7 million naira from the family of late father a day, a day after killing him. The suspects, Saidu Abdullahi, Aliyu Garba, and Haruna Idi, led the police to a bush in an area of Benway State where three guns used for the kidnap and murder of the late father were buried.